Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna teach you how to style comfy clout. I'm gonna give you all some tips on how to look good in oversized clothing. It's super easy, but it does a lot for your wardrobe. So oversized shit has gotten popular over the past couple years and I don't know who to credit, but I wouldn't be surprised if some dude just randomly put on the wrong size shirt in the mirror and went, oh shit, this is kinda hot, what the fuck? I'm gonna break it down into three things and they're gonna be what, how, and with, as in what it is, how to style it, and what goes good with it. And I'm gonna start with what because, okay, so oversized clothing is like it states, it's just oversized clothes. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. But it's usually seen in comfier items like sweaters and t-shirts. This is due to how they look relaxed and create a good flow for your fit. It's never a bad idea to go a little bigger on sweatshirts and hoodies anyways. Next up, we got how, and it's a little more complicated than getting a size up at the store, guys. Okay, not really, but you know, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make it look better anyway. So one thing I find to make the most out of your oversized fit is proportions. Example is like, you're gonna have an oversized sweater. I like to pair it with some slim pants. This is so even though your fit has that relaxed vibe, you don't look like a marshmallow. We're going for clout here, not cloud. But in a way, the slimness of the bottoms kind of evens out the oversizedness of the top. Also, rolling or cuffing your sleeves keeps your fit proportionate as well. This is so your arms are visible to even out the oversizedness of the top. I also do this to show off my, uh, hashtag ad. Daniel Wellington watch, which has helped me pull respect a lot of women. You definitely need these watches if you want to up your pull game. Here's video proof. Babe, how did I pull you? Because you respect women. Well, that's a given. What else? Because of your cool watch. So as you saw, it's field tested and it's definitely a must have. So you don't want to miss out on all these chicks you could pull. Use my code Christian to get 15% off your entire order so you can support your boy out here and show off to the company that I'm better than Kendall Jenner. For shirts, I tend to stick around the drapier pieces rather than boxy. A good example is just like a basic sized up shirt versus a boxy cut shirt. The size up seems more natural. You don't want to look like you're trying too hard and that goes for everything. Sometimes getting a size up is really all it takes to make a fit. It can be styled from that athleisure style that's very popular right now, all the way to that SLP style. Vintage pieces are always good for the look. They're usually a bigger cut anyways, so it's very natural. I mean, it's either people were rocking the look back then, or people were thicker. For color, I usually go for the one tone. I feel patterns and prints may be a little too loud since the garment is gonna be a bit big anyways. So sticking to one color is never a bad move. Now if your size is sold out or anything, you know, just get a size up and rock it oversized. Big Supreme hoodie? It's an oversized Supreme hoodie. Big Bape hoodie? It's an oversized Bape hoodie. Big Disappointment? It's an oversized Disappointment. Go follow my Instagram at ChristianVY for an oversized Disappointment. For some captions that are better than the pic itself, every caption is a tutorial on how to respect women, so definitely worth the read. Lastly, I'm gonna tell you what goes good with some oversized clothes. Like I stated earlier, I like to roll my sleeves, so a good way to make the most out of that is to accessorize a good watch, hashtag plug, a hat, and maybe even some nice socks to throw on on your fit. You don't have to do very extravagant things to make your fit stand out. So Sometimes it lies in the small things like rings or a watch. Slapping a fat Supreme Box logo on your sweater doesn't make you Captain Clout. Oversized clothing itself isn't very loud, yet it's a very good way to stay stylish. Work with the small things and make the most out of what you have. Alright, so to wrap this up, pay attention to proportions and make sure you make the most out of the small things in life. I mean, accessorize, what am I doing? Okay, thanks for watching the video, guys, and hopefully you find the tips useful. Again, special thanks to Daniel Wellington for supporting your boy in the move to respect women just in time. For the holidays, and the watches make great gifts for anyone looking to collect clout, use my code CHRISTIAN to get 15% off and support your boy. DM me your order receipts. You don't want to miss out on this deal. Follow my Instagram at ChristianVY and tweet at me at ChristianVYYT. Email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything. And yeah, guys, happy holidays. Stay lit. Respect women. But most importantly, I met Emily Oberg.